Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. This is a, a video, a second video of a teardown of a Merc Cruiser 3.0, and uh, this is the final results. I'm showing what we found inside of the motor. So, this is cylinder number one. We already knew there was a problem here because this is the cylinder that uh, knocked the hole in the block. You see the hole right there. Um, due to discoloration on this uh, crankshaft journal, this thing is severely overheated. And um, it, this is what came out, the rod, the rod had let go and uh, took a chunk out of the side of the piston there, but that was the one that broke and took the side of the block out. Then the number, uh, number two rod, uh, number two cylinder, it was actually in decent shape. It, uh, it's this one right here, not a whole lot wrong with it. It did not spin a bearing. It was in decent shape. The bearing was good. Piston's good. Don't see anything wrong with that one. Number three, um, apparently the debris from when number one rod broke uh, moved to the back of the engine and uh, damaged number three. So you can see the imprint of the pieces of metal that came from the rod, the, break, the broken rod on number one. And if you look carefully, you can see it bent this rod it bent the rod on number three. But other than that, it was still working. Um, I don't know how severe the twist was or the damage was, but the bearing on number three is actually in pretty decent shape, so it didn't it didn't twist too bad because I was un, I was under of the understanding this motor kept running. Then number four, this is the bearing that came out of number four. So this is the rod bearing that was on number four. Here's number four piston. Oh, excuse me. That's number that's number two. Here's number four right here. It's got some discoloration from heat and it spun the rod. So the oh excuse me, spun the bearing in this rod. So number one was gone and number four is going next. And again you can see the discolor you can see the discoloration number four crankshaft journal. So number one broke first, number four was going with it. Number two was okay. Number two was right there. Number three was okay, but it had bent. So I'm not gonna offer any opinions as to what caused this at this time. I'll do one more video to show that. I just wanna show the damage. So we had a uh, broken rod on one. Number two was okay. Number three, the rod had bent from debris from number one. And number four uh, rod was, the uh, journal was wearing down and a lot of heat. And it was, the bearing was uh, flattened out and about to go. So that's the results of this teardown. The main bearings um, look okay. I don't see any significant damage on the mains. That was the rear main. This is number three. Some copper inlay showing. And by the way, these bearings are all standard bearings, standard size bearings, so this is probably the original bearings. This is number two. I think it's number two. Excuse me, that's number one. This number one cap, main bearings are okay. Number two. This is number this number two here. Oh, that's the bearing's missing. Took it out. This is the bearing number two. So this the cop, some of the copper overlay showing, but it was still functional. So the main bearings were still working fairly decent. So that's the tear down. And uh, about to throw this block, crank, rods, pistons, everything in the recycling bin. Throw it in the trash. Thanks for watching.